What is going on today, guys? Today I'm gonna to be going over my fuel system for my square body pickup. This will be my 73. Uh, so what I have is a 1987 fuel sending unit. This is a passenger side partner part number FG05N. And then we have the 3 8 and 5 16 feed and return compression fittings to adapt it to dash six. And then what we'll be supplying all the fuel is a Wabril 255. It goes by TI Automotive now. Um, all this came from hotrodfuelhose.com. Uh, you can use code thirdgenc10 for 10% off your first order. I'll link all this down in the description. And uh, like this is for the trans cooler. I'll go over that in a minute. But uh, we bought the PTFE line. It has a lifetime warranty. Ethanol won't break it down. It shouldn't leak ever. And if we do, it's warrantied. So I got 20 foot of the black with blue checks for the fuel line. Looks pretty sweet. And these are all the various fittings you'll need to uh, adapt everything from dash six. We've got straights, 45s and 90s. So we'll have dash six coming out of the fuel tank itself. We'll have about two 12 foot sections running into this Wix Corvette fuel filter regulator. I'll link the part number down in the description along with the adapter fittings as well to make it dash six. Basically you'll have one here, two compression style fittings go on here. So we'll have just two one foot sections of the black with blue checks PTFE hose going into this. And then we'll just have one hose coming out. So this regulates it to the 58 PSI that we need for the LS to run off of. And what it doesn't need, it just returns back to the tank. So that way your return line is super short. You're not messing with it having to run a full regulator setup with a full length return line. This will just make your return super short. So that way you're not wasting fuel hose, honestly. And this is honestly the simplest way to regulate the fuel pressure down. It's great if you're not running any boost or anything like that, where you need the fuel pressure to rise with boost. This is just a bracket. We'll just have to modify that bracket, cut it off so we can get it in this one. Like I said, these are just the dash six adapter fittings for the fuel filter regulator. So it is super simple to really get a fuel system going for an LS swap, especially in a square body. Um, our trans lines, we're just gonna do black braided. Um, we've got a true cool, I think it's a 16 K transmission cooler. That'll go between, uh, basically the grill and the radiator. And then we've got the fittings to adapt it over to dash six as well. They are dash six male to five eighths dash 18 inverted flare. They just have two different brands, Fragrola and uh, Red Horse Performance. I don't know why that is, but it is the way it is. And I went with black with blue on all the fittings. Anodized, I think they look pretty good. I'll do a video on how to install the PTFE fittings. They're a little different than just regular dash six fittings, but super simple. Uh, I'll make a video as well showing how to adapt the sending unit to dash six. So right now, all I'm gonna do is uh, get all this out of the way so I can start plumbing the fuel system. And I'll try to video that along the way so y'all can see that. I just wanted to go over the parts I was gonna use for my square body LS swap. Like I said, Super simple, these parts, everything you need right here, we'll get it running. Uh, there is one fitting I need to order that I forgot about, which will be just basically this one, which is a, just a three eighths to a GM quick connect, because I need that for the actual fuel rail itself. I forgot to order one of those. But other than that, like I said, this is everything you need as far as if you're just running one tank to plumb an LS fuel system in a square body pickup. If you like the video guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.